old king. Praise us to God. Over two centuries ago, a wealthy landowner named Roger Boulder visited Colchester, Colchester, England. And he was visiting some of the tourist things, and he heard the old clock chime. And like a little kid, he started counting. And the oddest thing happened, that clock chimed 13 times. And there was a short man near him who said, did you hear it chime 13 times? Yeah, that's kind of odd. So, as was his habit, Sir Roger recorded that in his diary. Two months later, he woke up with a compelling sense that he needed to go to York, London. Well, Roger was, Sir Roger was a committed Christian. He didn't even respond to these kind of impressions, but it was so strong. The next morning, he got on his horse and rode to York. When he got into the town, he saw a huge crowd around the courthouse. He weaved his way in. And he listened, and he heard the judge pronounce this man guilty. And the judge says, if you have anything that you want to say before we execute you, he said, Judge, I was a hundred miles from here in Colchester when that murder took place. Do you have any evidence? No, sir. There's one man who was there who heard it as well, but I don't know who he is. I don't know where he is. And with that, Sir, sir Roger stood up and said, Your Honor, may I come to your, for your bench? And he did. And he showed the judge his diary. And the judge pronounced this man innocent. Amen. And as they, these two men left the courtroom together, the man put his arms around him, and there were tears he left. You're the only person who could save me. This Christmas season, as you're singing songs, and, and as you hear the many songs about the Holy Night, every day for us is an old Holy Night because of Jesus. No other man could have died for us and made a difference. So Paul is talking to, to the me generation. He's talking to us. He's as relevant then as he is today. And he says we have a choice between being addicted to materialism, me first mentality, or Choosing servanthood, focusing on Christ and being like Christ, and encouraging one another, uplifting one another, praying for one another. The choice is yours. You can choose to be number one, as most of the world does, or you can choose to be a servant and to serve one another. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Let's pray. Out in heaven, thank you that you inspired Paul to include Philippians 2. To not only tell us that Jesus is God, but also that he is the way of salvation. And that we can be of value as servants. So I pray in Jesus' name, Amen. finish our worship as we turn to the closing song 557. Five,
thankful people. And I pray that as you leave this place, that God will anoint you with his love and his compassion. That as you speak to family and friends and neighbors, people you work with, that he will provide you with the words of compassion, the words of encouragement, and the words of hope. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.